Should you move the rocks on your island to create your very own rock garden in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Today we'll talk about five things you need to consider before moving rocks on your island. People of the internet, Retro Tour here. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm just a dad who loves games and the stories they tell. We post videos every week here on YouTube, and today we're back with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. So by now, there are plenty of guides online showing you the best way to move rocks in Animal Crossing. But take it from someone who's already created a rock garden of my own, there are some things you should consider before you go about doing this. Number one, it will take time. How much time? Well, it depends. It depends largely on how good you are counting squares in Animal Crossing. Seriously. And also how well you know the overall layout of your island. You see, the most commonly recommended way of moving rocks in New Horizons is to use mannequins. Again, there are plenty of videos out there that go into great detail showing you how to do this, but in short, you'll have to position these mannequins across your island on every fourth tile where you don't already have another item. The basic idea is that you destroy the rocks on your island and then set up items in every single space where you don't want the rocks to go. And then all you're left with is a couple of open spaces where you want the rocks to go. And this will take a while. It's also not the most exciting of tasks, so your best bet is to do it in phases. Or if you want to knock it all out in one session, then you might want to do something like throwing on a podcast or maybe an audiobook and listening as you go about the project. In fact, if you happen to be looking for a new audiobook right now, you can get a free trial of Audible Plus and two free audiobooks using my affiliate link in the video description below. As for moving rocks by positioning mannequins, this is the method I use and it's probably the most efficient because once you have the rocks in place, it's very easy to quickly remove the mannequins. You simply need to make a single pixel change to the mannequin design and they'll all disappear. Setting the mannequins up though isn't nearly as simple as getting rid of them. If you do happen to do it perfectly the first time, then it will take you roughly a week to move all of your rocks. If you don't mind time traveling, you can use that to speed up the process, but even then it's highly unlikely you'll get enough mannequins placed and spaced out correctly the first time. I know it took me a few days before the rocks started spawning in the proper location because of a few tiny areas on my island that I had missed when originally placing the mannequins. Number two, make sure you find a place you'll be happy with. If you go down this path, then you'll most likely want to stick with it for the long term. If you were to position your rocks in a place you weren't satisfied with or you change your mind later, then you'd have to start all over and we're back to square one again with it taking up a ton of time. I feel like most people out there really enjoy designing the layout of their island and considering this is one of the more time consuming activities out there, you'll definitely want to get it right the first time. I would recommend using the various paths in the game and maybe some fencing to visually map out your planned layout before you start destroying rocks and placing mannequins. You may even want to try out a few different combinations before you ultimately decide if you're happy with the spot you've chosen. Just know as long as you aren't destroying rocks, they'll remain in their exact position all the time through all the different seasons. Which leads us to... Number three, you can't choose the style of the rock. You may have noticed as you've played Animal Crossing, there are a few different rock appearances. But for those who are very particular about their island layout, you should know there's no way to determine which style of rock you get and how it will be oriented. In my own rock garden, you'll notice how five of the six look very similar, and then the final one here in the top right has a very different appearance from the others. I suppose if you don't mind waiting even more days, you could keep all your mannequins up and destroy a rock that you already have in place, hoping you would get another one. But again, there's just no way of knowing which style of rock you'll get. Also, no matter how long you wait and no matter how long you go without destroying rocks, six is the maximum number for your island in New Horizons. On that front though, if you start feeling a little destructive and just want to blow off some steam, you can always use a Nook Miles ticket and head to an island where you can freely destroy every rock in sight. Number four, rock farming gets much easier. This here is a very nice side effect of having all your rocks in one place. It makes farming them and looking for the various rock materials much easier and more time efficient. Of course, in New Horizons, your island can have up to six rocks and they're all destructible. Each day, five of the six will produce crafting materials like stone, clay, iron nuggets, and when you're lucky, gold nuggets. 
The remaining rock will be your lucky money rock of the day, which rewards you with bells when you strike it. So from the moment you have all your rocks in their final position, mining them each day gets much easier. That being said, the fifth thing you'll definitely want to consider is that now you have to be extremely careful when eating fruit. Trust me on this one, guys. You do not want to accidentally destroy one of your rocks after you take all this time and effort to get them positioned in your exact desired location. Remember, anytime you eat fruit, always make sure to keep an eye on the counter and be absolutely sure it's completely drained before you go anywhere near one of your rocks. If you happen to destroy one of the rocks after you've moved them and after you've removed all your mannequins, then unfortunately you're back to square one again and would need to reposition the mannequins. The best thing to do here is to develop a habit of always checking to see if you've eaten any fruit before you go and mine your rocks each day. Hopefully now you have a much better idea of whether or not building a rock garden is worth it for you. If you're new to the game, I've prepared a full beginner's playlist, which you can find here on the right side of your screen. And if you're in the mood for a laid back evening let's play of Animal Crossing, then check out my video on the left side of your screen. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.